think there'd be any at all. Well, bearing in mind that's about half, I suppose, yes. I don't entirely know what to expect. Not particularly. Surprisingly, um, there's probably a, a good three, three, three cars lengths difference. Yeah. Especially going through the wet down to save the two boys that are standing there. It was I was way past them on the 1.6 and the three mil actually stopped and they were there. I found it quite nerve-wracking, the difference. I'd imagine there would be, but I've not really experienced it. Mean, what you spend your money on, that's what's contact on the road. You can't spend too much on a tyre at the end of the day. I think there should be a difference. Really, really a lot of difference with the steering. Going into the cornering, I had a lot more understeer in the budget tyres than I did in the premium. The difference in price isn't that great anyway. It's not fun. No, no, not pleasant. I'd much rather get the RIC to do it. I had a double puncher, so both both sides. So luckily somebody stopped and had to prop my car up and take both the tyres to the garage. There was a hundred nails in the tire, and it was—it hadn't lost any pressure. I mean, that's amazing. You actually, videoed it because I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I'm that impressed by that that I'm actually going to go and, and look because to, to get them from vehicles because it's between five and eight percent increase. It's nothing. <laughs> I would like to be reliant on a computer to do the braking and the driving for me. Really impressed by it. Yeah, it was a great idea. I think it's a brilliant idea. It makes me feel a lot more secure on the motorway. Should have been done years ago. <laughs>